Oil and gas wells have a limited production life, after which they need to be permanently plugged. The process is extremely expensive, costing tens of thousands of dollars for old conventional wells and hundreds of thousands for larger fracked wells. In problematic cases, the cost can exceed $1 million. As a result of these high costs and the diminishing production returns near the end of a well's life, these wells are often left abandoned and aren't plugged at all. Companies that were on the hook for plugging and site remediation frequently go bankrupt, shirking their responsibilities after one last round of executive bonuses. These unplugged abandoned wells are underneath our homes, our schools, and in our backyards, negatively impacting our health and in the environment. The Pennsylvania DEP has 8,625 abandoned and orphaned wells on its list that needs to be plugged. By their estimation, they have between 300 to 750 thousand wells drilled in the state's history, of which they only know where about 200,000 of those are. Even wells that were properly plugged will eventually need to be replugged because the concrete and steel will not last forever in hot, high pressure and saline environments of old wells. This well was found by frack trackers Matt Kelso on a walk through the trails behind Larry Mills Park. It is difficult to believe that the well was completely forgotten about since it is in a public place and roughly 200 feet from an active well. DEP was made aware of this well, and they did verify that they found it and it was orphaned. However, the well is not on the state's list mentioned above. Abandoned wells are dangerous threats uh, because as new homes are built, hazardous methane levels can accumulate inside. In 2011, a house in McCain County blew up while the owner was luckily outside. And after investigating, the DEP blamed the incident on methane migration uh, from three nearby abandoned wells. This is not just a Pennsylvania problem. Frack Tracker West, West Coast coordinator Kyle Farrar shows how abandoned wells are hiding all around us in his investigation of downtown Los Angeles. He used an infrared camera to visualize the plumes of methane and other volatile organic compounds spewing out of abandoned wells in the middle of the streets.